Right. This is under databases. The question is, uh, what does this mean and how do you do it? Um, let's try and break it down into bits, okay? Tables, what are tables about? Sorry, pause. There are two kinds of databases, right? Simple, more complicated one. What are they called? Flat file, Flat file and relational. relational. Now, when you hear tables, which one are we talking about? Relational. relational. It has to be relational, right? Within a relational database, each table is a little flat file on its own. Okay, and we used to represent this, or we, we still represent this, with a, um, a schematic diagram, a schema. Do you remember that? Okay, so doing this kind of thing. Okay, and then, you know, each table <coughs> describes a particular kind of entity, and then you have the different attributes or characteristics of each one. So the idea is that you can link tables using these somehow. Okay, so how would we do this? Let me think of an example. Say... Uh, we run a business and we sell stuff. Okay, so for instance, I the um, yeah question. Um, when you go up the top, you wrote primary and foreign cables. Oh, oh. let's fix that. <laughs> No wonder. Oh, oh, sorry. Exactly. It's a bit confusing. Okay. Should we start again? <laughs> sorry. Now, suppose I've been keeping my records for my business and I start off small. So all I just use is a spreadsheet. Start off with a flat file. Okay? So, for instance, I just, um, as people come to me, I'm like, well, they make orders. And so I'm going to put together a table which helps me know which orders are going where, and I can get a bit of history, right, and make sure I've got the right amount of money, paying the right amount of taxes, and so on. <coughs> okay. So, for instance, I might have, say, an order number over here, okay, and I say, well, I'll just do it in sequence, so it's going to be like one, two, three, four, five, okay, and then not only do I want an order, perhaps I want to say, uh, okay, um, I want to know who bought this from, okay, so I've got a customer, I might be an online business, okay, so obviously I've got to know where I'm going to send this stuff to, so I'll have an address in here, okay, and suppose there's a whole bunch of other fields that tell you about the actual products that get ordered, okay, and so there's like, you know, there's actually several attributes over there we're not going to be interested in. I want to focus on this part over here. Now suppose, as my business starts off, I'm just getting different people all at random, Okay, so I get Ricky orders something, and Steve orders something, and Anne orders something, and you know I know what their address is. They live at you know number one, Carlingford Road, Carlingford. Okay, um, and I've got other addresses here and so on. Okay, and this is all fine so far, right? But the problems begin when I start to have the same people coming back to me and giving me repeat business over and over again. Because, mm. uh, for instance, suppose uh, Ricky decides the products that I gave are really good, so he comes back, he, order, he orders another thing, and he's like, ah, I forgot another thing, so I'm gonna put in another order, okay? And you know, Steve and other people, and I'm gonna have the same people ordering again and again and again, okay? Now, can someone tell me, what's the problem with this scenario? Yeah. A huge amount of redundant data. <coughs> okay, good. So every time Ricky's in here, his address is going to be in here as well, right? So one Carlingford Road, Carlingford. One Carlingford Road, Carlingford. Every single time, okay? And suppose, you know, um, I want to look up, okay, where, where do I send things to Ricky? Okay, suppose I want to send him a, a flyer or, you know, some promotion or something like that, right? I'll have to go back and look through uh, where his address is. But what if he changed address? Right? And you know, some of these are different to others, and I look at the wrong one and I send it to the wrong place. Okay? So redundant data, not only is it a waste of space, okay, but also can lead to these kinds of problems. Right? <coughs> so how do I solve the problem? Well, instead of having one table which just has all my orders in it, okay, I'm going to break apart my <coughs> flat file into two tables and make it a relational database. Okay? So first I'll have orders. Okay. And then I'll have um, part of this which relates, which is customers. Okay, so here's what I'll do. Orders, I'll still have an order ID, 
from A, that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. The next thing I would have is information about the customer. Now, I don't need to put their name and their address every single time, okay, because that's redundant. So instead, I might have, say, a customer ID, customer 5, customer 23. Okay. Now, even there, I'm already saving space because just having that number is shorter than having their full name. And then, you know, there will be some stuff about the products and so on. Okay? Now, the customer ID, I look at the order, I'm like, customer 23, I don't know who that is. So in order to actually have some description here, I've got to go over to this table. Right? So each customer, like we said, they have an ID, they also have a name, they also have an address. Just for the sake of simplicity, let's just treat it like that. Okay? So let's have a look at this. In the customer table, okay, What's the primary key? Customer ID. What is a primary key? After all, it's a field, right, that uniquely identifies every different um, record in this table. Okay. So I'm going to put my key icon. Okay. Uh, next to customer ID. That's the primary key over here. So maybe you want to write PK. Now it links to this table, see, like so, okay? So here, in this table, customer ID is not the primary key, because it doesn't uniquely identify every order, but it's still a key, it's the foreign key. It's foreign because this isn't the table it really uh, originates from, it originates from over there. So you can see having a primary key over here that's the foreign key over here, that's what joins these two and creates a relationship between them, okay? Now, just for the sake of it, since we're at it, what kind of a relationship is it? You've got three choices. It can be one-to-one, -one, it can be one-to-many, or it can be many-to-many. -many. What do you think? One-to-many. One-to-many. Who thinks it's one-to-many? Yeah, a few people. How can you prove or justify, explain why it's one-to-many? One. Um, because a customer, there can only be like one customer for all the orders that they make. They they come from one customer person. can make more than one order. Okay, so each customer can have many orders, all right? So there's a many, so it's obviously not one to one, okay? What about orders? But for one order, it's one customer making the order. Okay, good. So each order is only going to go, is going to be sent to one person, right? So that's why it's not many to many either, right? So now, which, which side do we put one and which one side do we put many on? One goes on customers, and many goes on orders. Okay, you can think about it this way: one customer has many orders, right? But orders only have one customer. You see what? I, that's that's how I read it. Okay. So that's how you um that's how tables get linked through primary and foreign keys. Does anyone want to ask any questions to s clarify things? Okay, thumbs up, thanks.